So in the work we recently presented at the ACR meeting, we uh, report the generation of uh, induced pluripotent stem cell or iPSC lines from patients with acute myeloid leukemia. Um, and uh, the, this is work that has been going on in my laboratory for many, many years, so more than a decade now. And then uh, we put all this together as a resource that uh, for uh the field of AML and cancer more generally. The motivation behind this study was to try to address some sort of challenges and limitations of existing models of leukemia and cancer, mainly the fact that immortalized cell lines have been uh, propagated for many, many years and uh, uh, often lose the relevance to the original cancer. And while at the same time, uh, on the other hand, um, primary human cells can only be used for a limited number of experiments because they're limited in numbers and also the, our ability to culture them ex vivo. And so we used reprogramming technology to uh, capture uh, leukemia cells from both the bone marrow or the peripheral blood of patients with leukemia and turn them into induced pluripotent stem cells or iPSCs. And in this way, we kind of take a bit of the best of both worlds, where we have patient-derived material now um, in uh, some type of cell line that is not immortalized by strong oncogenes, but is maintained through pluripotency. And we can then differentiate it back to leukemias, to, to hemorrhoidic cells and regenerate the leukemia. And importantly, what we found was that these leukemias that we could make after redifferentiating induced pluripotent stem cells back to hemorrhoidic cells were very, very similar to the original leukemias that we took out of the patients. So now this gives us a lot of possibilities. Uh, first of all, we can, by doing this, we can capture also uh, pre-leukemic stages and as well as late leukemic stages and many different stages, clones and subclones from the patients and study them. And importantly, we can do functional studies with them that we can now do with primary cells. So we can treat them with drugs. We can do uh, genetic manipulations such as knockdowns, overexpression, um, uh, knockouts, CRISPR screens, all sorts of screens, barcoding, um, anything, any type of experiment that you can do with uh, immortalized cell lines, we can now do with these iPSCs. So we think that these new models now can really uh, be very valuable for uh, our research, but also research by others. And we are really committed to share this with, uh, to sharing this with the community and making this available through collaborations or material transfer agreements to other researchers who uh, are interested in using these models. The work we're currently doing and we're planning for the future um, is is using these leukemia lines on many different uh, types of questions. For example, questions uh, like what determines the drug response or resistance to certain targeted therapies or specific therapies? And can we learn from this um, how to better uh, stratify patients who will respond or not based on their genetics? A second thing is to uh, use this to investigate uh, leukemia mechanisms, what drives the disease, and how we can use this information to learn about new therapeutic targets that we can then uh, uh, use for future drug development. I want to stress that this is work that has been uh, going on in my uh, laboratory for almost a decade. So there were many, many people who uh, passed lab members and trainees who contributed to this. Um, and uh, I, uh, I, uh, I think without them, none of this would have happened. It's a, it's a very uh, large commitment and, and big amount of work that went into this study. And I'm um, uh, very uh, thankful to everybody who contributed to it, all the past lab members, as well as all our funders that include um, a grant from ACR. Mm -hmm.